Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Recharge subscription apps on Shopify. So with Recharge subscription, you'll be able to create some subscription plan and then you can assign different product to different subscription on your Shopify store. So we're just going to jump into it here on the search bar. I'm going to go ahead and type in Recharge subscription which will available automatically and it's going to directly brings you to the Shopify app store. So this is the recharge subscriptions apps. It says here that it is an all in one solution for growth and retention. It has customer portal, retained bundles, robust and flexible API, unified checkout, etc. And here are all of the things that you will get by installing it into your Shopify store. Now let's take a look at the pricing. So yes, this app is not really cheap. So the standard one comes with $99 per month and the pro one got $4.99 per month. And here are some of the benefits that you will get with the standard one. You will be able to get essential subscription management core, no code, customer portal, and then we got analytic dashboard and we also got secure reliable payment processing and we will also got a 30 day free trial meanwhile on the pro one we will got standard features plus and then advanced retention tool automation suite we got javascript sdk and storefront api as well as advanced customization and more so with the pro one, you will get more customization and probably some more other benefits compared to the standard one. Now that you know that we're going to go ahead and click on install. Then as always, if you ever want to install an app into your Shopify, they will show you that that specific app is going to need access to some data. And if you're okay with it, you can continue and click on install. Once you got your apps installed you'll be able to see something like this so you can see that i have this 30 days free trial notification on the top left of my screen and that's because i chose the basic plan if you remember or the standard plan so here we talked about this before so i chose the standard plan instead of the pro plan so now we're going to start by selecting a product I already have several products here and I know that subscription are usually used by non-physical products. So let's say you offer classes or maybe you offer some services. You can also add that into your Shopify. We're going to cover that later on on the video, but for now I'm just going to choose one of the product. I think I'm going to be using this one. And here on the how do you want to sell this subscriptions product option? So one time in subscription means that that person can choose whether you want that product to be just bought one time or whether you want them to directly subscribe to that specific product. And I personally will choose this one just because this one is more flexible. And then you can add a discount to subscriber, let's say that some people directly subscribe to your product you can add maybe five percent or ten percent discount let's say i want to add five percent for that product and you can charge customer and ship product on specific days so you can choose the amount of days you want that product to be shipped maybe you want it to be shipped on days or weeks or month and you can also add more frequency. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then we're going to go ahead and click on next. So once we got the subscription settings done, we're going to have to visit the Shopify editor page because we'll have to create a specific block for this widget to be activated. So go ahead and click on here. It's going to directly bring you to the product page editor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add block and then we're going to go to apps right here and then you want to click on this subscription widget and I want my subscription widget to show 
probably around here below the buy it now so I'm going to bring this like so so it's going to appear on top of my description so it looks some things like this and you also want to go to the app embed sections right here and make sure that we turn on the apps like so and once you're done with that you can go ahead and click on save then we can go back to the subscription recharge subscription widget these are just the uh, tutorial so i've shown you and now we're going to go ahead and click on verify then click on next and you can start and publish your subscription so i'm going to go ahead and click on publish for now so people will be able to subscribe to the product that i've just chosen if you ever want to change anything about the subscription setting you can always click on unpublish and resetting it through there you also have the options to run a test order if you want or you can confirm that your theme installation look right you can click this preview subscription widget and it's going to show you how it will looks like on the actual product page so this is how it looks like they have the options to do the uh, one-time purchase or the uh, subscribe and save with 5% discount. And then they also have the delivery timing description. So I think it's really nice for the widgets to show that so that my customer will be able to know what they're actually subscribing to and how they will get that product. Let's go back to the setup here. I'm going to continue and click complete setup, which will brings me into the recharge subscription dashboard. Through here, we'll be able to see a bunch of things such as the dashboard analytics. So you can see your revenue. Let's take a look at the revenue overview. If you click on there, you'll be able to see on the revenue that you will get through this app. So you can see all revenue and then you can see the amount of subscription as well as the non-subscription. So remember that we have the options for the one-time buying thing as well as the subscription one. If someone buys that specific product for just one time only and not subscribing to it, it will show right here. But if they do subscribe, it will show right here. Meanwhile, here is just the combination of both. Then you can see the revenue by type, the total revenue over time, as well as the subscription order. And then you can see the subscription order items, as well as the activity over time. You can also take a look at the customer profile. Let's say if you have some customer name and they are probably some repeating order customer, they buy stuff from you regularly you can save their information so that the next time you needed their info for shipping or maybe just for your personal data you already have their contact here then if there is any order that encounters an error it will show right here so it says here that these charges fail to process but can still be recovered some error will automatically retry through our system while others are hard failure that require manual intervention. For detailed guidance on specific error categories, refer to the following tabs. So you know that when it comes to subscription, sometimes an error comes through, and if there are any of those issues coming, you will be able to see it right here. And it also says that the recharge subscription systems are not the type who just going to leave a problem alone. They will try to automatically retry, but if it still doesn't work you'll be able to see what's going on over here then you can also manage your product through here so these are all of the product that i have and you can see which one has the subscription plan and which one doesn't again all of the product that i have are actually a physical product so I'm just going to show you real quick on how you can add a non-physical product maybe it's a digital product or you want to sell some sort of classes you can go to the product sections right here click on add product then you can fill everything just like how 
you would normally do but the difference is going to be here on the track quantity part as well as the shipping part so you're going to want to click on this is a physical product make sure that it's not ticked and make sure that you pay attention to this part so it says here that customer won't enter shipping details at checkout learn how to set up your store for digital product or services and in order to be able to actually insert your product into Shopify, you're going to need the help of a third parties, but it's going to be for another video. For today, I'm just going to show you that this is how you can create a non-physical product or a digital product to your Shopify listing. So you just have to make sure that you don't take this part and then you can just save your product. And that's basically it. That is how you can use the Recharge subscription apps on Shopify. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.